Hello my friend myself Satish Vanapalli thank you very much for watching this video here is my website pegaks.com where you can find interesting uh, topics with the uh, step by step explanations you can use this such feature to find articles and also you can view a random post by clicking on this random post icon there is also a live chat available on my blog where you can directly chat with me uh, most of the times uh, i'll try to be online so that you can directly ask your questions uh, via this live chat and most importantly sign up to my blog uh, so that whenever i publish a new article you will get notified via email you can follow me on facebook page facebook.com/pegaks and also do subscribe my youtube channel so that you whenever a new video get published you will get a notification let's get start with the today's topic in this today's topic we will see about how to configure pegabix with agent or job scheduler in 8.5 version let's get started this is the sample screenshot that i would like to show how to configure an advanced agent activity that will execute all your extract rules as you might already know agents will be deprecated in later releases so pega strongly recommends tools to use job scheduler in place of advanced agents as well as use queue processors in place of standard agents so this is a sample screenshot of job scheduler how to configure activity that will execute your extract rules here is a screenshot of an activity how the logic should be written to execute your extract rules when running bix from pega platform using a job scheduler or an agent activity or the command line you can input various parameters to filter out data what is extracted from your application below listed are the most important or frequently used parameters there are several other parameters also there you can visit on the community.pega.com let's navigate to the pega designer studio for a quick walk through on the job scheduler rule as well as activity this is the name of your agent that you can find in admin studio and this is the agent activity and the mode is advanced agent and this is the interval 1200 seconds is nothing but 20 minutes navigate to the security tab you have to define your access group because this is an advanced agent and also check bypass activity authentication and in the advanced configuration you can enable this checkbox run this agent on only one node at it if you uncheck this checkbox your agent will be running on multiple nodes where you have a duplication of data extraction let's navigate to the job scheduler rule this is the job scheduler rule and this is your job scheduler name all associated nodes are any one associated node so make sure your bix processing will be run on only one node based on your business requirement you can select appropriate schedule and if you select multiple times a day then you can need to specify your interval you can specify interval your minutes hours or seconds and you need to specify your access group and this is your activity and one more important configuration there is a system runtime context click on this system runtime context to make sure your application is added then only your job scheduler rule will be resolved and it will be available for system to schedule and run accordingly now let's navigate to the activity rule how the logic should be written to execute your extract rules first we'll define a page in pages and class of your activity rule with the class rule admin extract because this is the overtb activity px extract data with args is defined in the class of rule admin extract so that's why we have defined a page and using that step page we are calling this activity and this activity requires three parameters one is the extract name and the extract class name and the py arguments so to set these parameters so we added a property set in step 2 where i'm setting the extract name and the extract class and 
we need to set one more property py args so in step 3 I am setting the py args let's expand this third property set which we am setting py args to understand this argument let's navigate to the bix parameters parameter d is used only to extract instances with px create date time is equal or greater than the specified start date and end date coming to the parameter g is used to extract instances with the px commit date time is equal to or greater than start date and end date iphone z is used to extract only instances with that specific pgins key let's navigate back to the activity if you see i am using iphone z so i'm setting my pgins key to a parameter then i'm using the param.pgins key with iphone z argument if you want to use uh, iphone z commit date time so here is the syntax iphone z param.start date and param.end date this param.start date and param.end date that you have to set in gmt format because pega uses uh, date time in gmt format let's run this activity standalone to verify the case is extracted or not before that let's query the table so far my table has only two records let's run the activity from the actions drop down click on run you can trace while uh, executing this activity let's trace it and click on run see activity completed we can see the success message let's verify in the tracer if no errors on the tracer if you see the extract is com execution completed let's go back to the database and see whether the record is inserted into your table or not you can query the table you see the third record get inserted so this is how you need to implement your agent activity to run your extract rules based on your business requirements from the dev studio navigate to the admin studio this is the overview of your admin studio if you want to see the agents you have to click on this agent if you want to see your job scheduler rules you have to click on this jobs and you can quickly filter out your job name using this filter so my job name is data extraction fix click on apply where you can see right now it is disabled you can click on this revert button to enable if you want to disable your job scheduler you can click on this override to disable your job scheduler in the same way you can enable or disable your agent activity by navigating to this agents thank you very much for watching this video we'll see you in the next video